I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Finibis community. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to share with, with you what constitutes a good personal statement. Man. So if you are interested, then stay tuned to the end because definitely you're going to learn something out of this video. Tip number one is about the structure of the personal statement. If you are doing a personal statement and you get the structure wrong, then unfortunately the whole personal statement is wrong as well because the universities they look at uh, about how you have structured your personal statement if you are not able to structure a personal statement very well how are you going to be able to structure your assignment and your essay when you come and do your social work program here in uk when i talk about the structure the font of your personal statement you need to consider the margin of your personal statement you need to consider the font of the personal statement you need to consider the size of the personal statement when you want to write your personal statement you need to check at the university some universities here in uk will specify what they require for a personal statement some universities will leave it open for you to decide how you will structure your personal statement so the format is very important in terms of whether you are using double line spacing whether you are using single line spacing or whether you are using 1.5 spacing it is very important that you follow simple instructions which is to have a good structure to your personal statement some universities require you to have two pages ideally the standard of a good personal statement should have no more than two pages so be mindful when you are writing don't write too much and don't write too little focus on the main key points that you need to be able to sell yourself to the university so they can consider you and pick your personal statement so they can call you for an interview Another tip that I want to share with you is about the introduction of your personal statement. Your personal statement should hook them up. The lecturer should be hooked onto your personal statement. When you start introducing yourself in your personal statement and you don't hook them up, your personal statement will be very boring and they might not show an interest to continue to read and they will put your personal statement aside and pick another student don't forget that social work course here is very competitive here in uk so you are competing yourself with a number of students so you need to introduce yourself very well so you can be considered for this program in your introduction you might say you are passionate about social work don't just be too descriptive why are you passionate when you read some personal statement, I've been supporting some of my friends, Guyanians, who wants to study social work here. And when I read their personal statement, they are so very descriptive. I'm, I'm very passionate about social work. Without giving examples about what have you done about your passion. Everybody can be passionate. I am passionate about flying an aeroplane. Have I done anything to be able to fly an aeroplane? No. So my passion is not really something that I am so eager to follow. So if you want to do social work and you are passionate about supporting people, what have you done? What voluntary work have you done? What paid job have you done that relates to your passion? So be mindful that when you are writing anything about yourself, give evidence don't forget that social work is evidence-based so whatever you say in your personal statement should be backed by evidence what i will say is that if you have a passion if you have an interest in say football in say cooking in say keeping faith and you want to put that in your personal statement that is good it's very good you put all your interests something that you are interested in in your personal statement but always related to social work the impact that will, will have when you come to do your social work course here because for instance if you are passionate about playing football that is good it's about keeping faith so you can relate it and give an example that i am passionate about playing football and i do understand the importance of exercise 
and when I start to do my social work program I will continue to play football in my spare time so I can be able to keep faith for the program that I'm going to embark on. So I know social work is a very demanding career and keeping faith is very important, it's very vital. So you have nailed it down, they will understand that you understand, you have passion for football and you are going to continue to do football to keep faith when you come to do your social work program. So number three, you need to also put into your personal statement the reason why you want to study this particular course, which is social work. Perhaps you are passionate about supporting vulnerable people in society, in the community. Hence, you have decided to do social work. I don't know the reason why you want to do social work, but there must be a reason. So connect your reason to the social work program. So you need to give evidence of the skills you have, the knowledge you have, the experience you have. So be mindful that you're going to connect it with the experience that you have gained as a result of doing maybe a paid job in a, in a nursing home or in a hospital or in a children's home or in if you are in Ghana in an orphanage home. Anything that you have done, if you have done any char charity work, voluntary work, you need to link it up. I'm so passionate about social work and because of the passion I have, I've undertaken a voluntary work, for instance, in an orphanage home, just to be able to understand more about the practicality of social work. And now I want to come to university to study social work and learn the models so I can get the certificate to be able to work as a qualified social worker so I can impact knowledge and support the vulnerable people in the community so you have connected your passion the reason why you want to do social work and you have linked it up with the experience that you have already what you need to do as well the tip i want to share with you if you want to your personal statement to stand up please make sure that you are putting in effective time management if you have done any course already put that in that you've managed to do say your degree and when you were doing your degree, you, were, you managed upon all the, the difficulties, the challenges that you went through. You managed to pass your degree already, maybe in Ghana, and you want to come to the UK to come and do a second degree or your master's in social work. And when you were doing the degree, you were able to manage your time effectively. You were able to attend lectures and contribute to discussions during lectures give examples of what you have done the good things that you have done why the university should choose you other than other students who have applied to the course when you are writing your personal statement remember that what will make you stand out of the crowd what will make you stand out of the other people who have also applied to the university so give as much example as possible why they should choose you so if you want to do social work, what books have you read? What knowledge have you acquired that will help you to come into social work? So you need to give examples of the books that you have read, the knowledge that you have gained as a result of preparing yourself to come into social work. I would say, let them know how committed you are, how dedicated you are, how passionate you are to do social work. So give examples of how you have committed to another course before. For instance, if you have done your degree already, how you committed to the degree, give examples. How dedicated you are. If you have done a voluntary work, you have done a paid job and show them how committed you were by attending the job or the voluntary work on time and staying connected to the people that you were working with give example practical example of what you have done don't just be descriptive be very analytical in your personal statement because in social work here in uk there's a lot of analysis that you're going to do there's a lot of evaluation that you're going to do and when they are reading your personal statement and they know you are being very analytical then obviously your personal statement will stand out of the crowd here in uk social work course as well as doing the practical the actual social work the page of social work it's about ability to meet deadlines 
ability to plan very well. So in your personal statement, show them how you've been able to plan well, show them how you've been able to meet deadlines. If you have finished university already, your degree, and you want to come and do your second degree or your master's in social work, definitely you have those skills. You've been able to meet deadlines by submitting your assignment to be able to pass your degree. You've been able to plan your time very well to be able to pass your degree in Ghana or whichever country you did your, your degree. Tell them, put that in and link it up with the course that you are going to do. That I've already been able to pass my degree and by passing this degree, I've developed skills of time management. I've developed skills of planning. And when I come into doing this course, I'm going to continue to develop my skills. I understand the challenges. I understand the difficulties, but I will try my best to implement time management, ability to, pl to plan well, and ability to be on time on this course. So you give practical examples so they are aware. We also tell them how you are aware of some of the challenges of social work course here in UK. So you need to do your research well before you start writing all this personal statement. You need to be able to sit down and read and do a research about some of the challenges that goes on for students who comes to do your their social work degree or their master's here in UK. So you can give those examples as well that you are aware of this difficulties. It is very important that you show to the people, the university lecturers, that you understand some of the terminologies in social work. Every career, every profession have got their own terminologies. So does social work. Social work terminologies such as social justice, empowerment, anti-oppressive practice, anti-discriminatory practice, you need to be able to put some of these terminologies in your personal statement. So when they are reading, they will understand that you do know some of the terms that comes when you come into doing social work here in the UK. Social work is evidence-based. So when you are given those terminologies, don't just write it, link it up with what you have done. For instance, if you have already done a voluntary work before coming or before applying for this course, you can link it up that you do understand about anti-oppressive practice, anti-discriminatory practice. If you worked already as a volunteer, maybe in an orphanage home, and you've been helping the children to exercise their human rights, you've been helping the children to have voice, you've been talking to the children, and you'll be helping them to build their confidence up. You can, if you are also respecting confidentiality you can also say that i've been respecting confidentiality and you are aware of data protection and you are not disclosing the information of the children to other people family members so you are giving practical examples of the things that you have done in your voluntary work and also you are linking it up with terminologies within social work which is anti-oppressive practice like i said confidentiality human rights, data protection, social justice, and the list goes on. But you need to be linking everything that you have done into some of the terminologies that goes within social work profession. Don't forget that personal statement is about you. It's called personal statement. So you need to tell them about something that is personal, that is relating to you. So don't say that my mom was a social worker and now I've grown up and I also want to become a social worker. No, it's not about your mom. It's about you. So anything that you say, link it up to yourself and tell them about things that you are passionate about, that you are interested about, the experience that you have gained, the knowledge that you have gained, the skills that you have gained. Give a practical examples, like I've said, and make it so personal to you and not to any other person. I hope I have explained this to the best of my ability. I hope you have learned something out of this video. But if there's something that I have missed out and you know it, comment down below. Let other people who are watching, who wants to learn from us, learn more and know more so they can write a good personal statement for the university, especially people, international students who wants to come here in UK to study social work. If you know anything that I have missed out, please put that in the comment section. So Queen V, I'm here to share ideas with students, newly qualified and people who are new into social work. 
someone who have done social work for over 12 years. I'm also a practice educator. I support student learning within the local authority where I'm working in. I've been offering a lot of mentoring, coaching advice to the new ones coming into social work. And I, even in my own personal life, I've been supporting some of the Guyanians that I know are at the university and those who want to come and join social work. That's why I've opened this community so I can share ideas with students, international students, home students, people who want to come here to study social work. If you are one of them, then join the community. I want to end by saying your dreams and aspirations can come true. Whatever you aspire to become can come true. But what you need to do is to work hard towards your dreams and aspiration. There will be challenges. Don't get me wrong. There will be difficulties. But if you are so focused and very determined, despite the challenges and the difficulties, you can come true. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. So take care of yourself and see you on my next video. Take care and bye. Oh, <laughs>